Hey guys, it's Amanda from Flowlift, and congrats, you've made it to the third week of the Flowlift Challenge. You've done six classes by now, and you've got three more to go to finish the full three weeks. And of course, we hope you keep going because of how good you feel and maybe how lean you feel as well. Um, I'm going to demonstrate one of the floor moves from the beginner class number four on the beginners page. So this is a move that begins on all fours and for the right side, you're going to shift your weight into the left hand. You're going to do a big side kick with the right leg and float that right arm. Then you're going to come down into a pinwheel position. You're going to roll to the right, come onto the left foot, and then kick that right leg out. Come back to the pinwheel, come up onto the hand, and side kick. Let me show you that from a different point of view. So you're going to be on all fours, left hand down, float the right arm as you kick the leg out, come down into that pinwheel position, roll onto the sole of the left foot, lift as you kick out. Pinwheel, come up, kick. Pinwheel, roll, lift and kick. So on both moves, you're kicking with the right leg, and the, in the middle, you're coming into this pinwheel position. And the real hard part is to float the hips up, and again, to pick the hips up off of the ground. All our four moves are full body moves, and it really, really requires your core, as well as the legs, the upper body, and the shoulders. So it's integrated, practice it, and go at your own pace, never feeling like you have to go as fast as the instructor in the video. Good luck finishing up these three weeks, and we will see you soon.